Hello guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Now I'm going to do a little bit of tra time traveling here with the episodes. Um, what I mean by that is some episodes are actually going to be recorded in the past to this current moment when I'm recording right now, and a little bit is going to be in the future. And so the reason why I'm doing this is because my microphone actually broke mid-episode, last episode. So I'm going to roll out this episode, and hopefully it'll work out as far as the microphone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Alright guys, this is a nice and stormy night, so perfect setting for the mood. I made a discovery today. I had an issue, I'll actually show you right now, I had an issue with my happiness, my settlement, uh, here in data, and uh, we don't want quests, we want workshops. So you see in Sanctuary Cells, we have a happiness deficit right now. Uh, for some reason we're not able to gain happiness, but we have plenty of food, water, and ample defense, but we still have an issue. I started looking online, started looking on forums, Reddit, and stuff like that, and I found out a few different reasons why it could be. Um, a few of them being uh, just like basic things like people not having enough defense or whatever. But actually, in our case, I believe we have a synth infiltrator in our supplement. And I'll show a clip. I actually went through and I had a purge, so obviously reloaded and save. But I end up killing all of our settlers, and I found out we had a synth infiltrator. We had a synth, and uh, he is actually right here. It's this guy. He had a synth component on him, which we need to deal with this. So right now, he's actually set as a guard. I named him a scavenger, but it, whatever. Didn't mean to do that. So we're actually going to go find him a bed and uh, make him go to sleep. <laughs> Pretty much. I did pick up the Mr. Sandman perk, so we'll uh, we'll take care of this guy. Okay. It looks like he is now assigned to the bed. It's close to 1 a.m., so let's see if he actually goes to it or not. Is he still on guard duty? Yes, he is. Uh, I need you to get off guard duty. I'm actually going to go put that up. Are there any other posts for him? Yes, there's one more. So we're going to put this up too. So that he is no longer on guard duty. Alright, so now our synth is unemployed. Let's go ahead and put him in the bed again and wait a little bit. See if he goes to it. Okay, he is now assigned to the bed, so let's go ahead and take a nap by ourselves and see if he goes there. It's now roughly 3 a.m. Hopefully he's asleep. Nice foggy morning. He's not asleep. Maybe it's because synths don't sleep. Hmm. Where's this guy at? Lost track of how many ballistas I got. You hear about that farm run by ghouls? Where is he? Yeah, that's something. Is he in here? He is not here. Here he is. Okay. Hi, how are you? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. So I was not able to put him in the bed. Um, I guess because he's a synth, so I can't silently murder him with the Mr. Sandman perk. So we'll have to resort to different methods, I believe.
All right. Well, we just lynched a synth, and there we go. You see that synth component? Let's go ahead and pick that up. Um, it seems to be growing well. Uh, our synth is growing well. So let's just go ahead and throw them in here for now. There we go. And let's check out our happiness. And there we go. You see our happiness level is actually, um, there's no longer a, um, like a caution sign. Button. So that was actually our issue. Let's make sure that our settlers are not angry at us. Need something? I'd like to trade some items. Alright. So we're good to go now. We found a synth, guys. That's crazy. I hadn't actually found a synth in one of my settlements before. At least noticed the synth in our settlements before. Um, in my own playthroughs. So that's pretty crazy that I was able to find them here. Thank you, Internet. I was able to <laughs> find out what the problem was um, thanks to some Reddit posts. So that's pretty cool. Hello, guys, and welcome to the future part of the episode. So, uh, we have a few changes. Uh, most notably, right over here. You see, we actually have our trader right here. This is actually a general trader. We also have a a little barkeep, I guess, inside over here, which is pretty nice. Looks pretty, uh, looks pretty good with those uh, shot glasses and stuff yes. over here in Nuka Cola. So there are a lot of changes, and there are not many changes. Also, um, most notably is just things like this. I've been collecting a lot of caps, been collecting a lot of gear, um, steel, stuff like that. Um, it took some finesse. It took some, uh, <laughs> as you could say, uh, questable actions to be able to gather all the resources um, and uh, well it's worth it I think um, I am sitting at nine people though nine settlers still which I've been looking online apparently it's a big issue for Sanctuary Hills that so you only have a set number of uh, settlers that will come in and I mean whenever I was killing my own settlers I would still only get nine uh, I'd get the ones replaced when I came in but I would only get those nine so it looks like we're stuck with those nine right now. So I'll continue to uh, build up my settlement over here, see what we can do with it, make some cool buildings and whatnot. But it looks like we're sitting at nine settlers. Um, we're doing plenty good on um, having like resources, water, stuff like that. No problems at all with that kind of stuff. So we are definitely self-sufficient now. But all we have to worry about is um, making sure our happiness is still pretty high. Um, that's one thing we do need to worry about. So one thing I do want to do, definitely, is actually get a set of power armor. Um, uh, one thing I've been doing recently, uh, since my microphone was broken, is actually been playing a crap ton of Fallout 4, um, just in my own playthroughs and stuff. I have a lot of mods and stuff that's made it really entertaining recently. So I definitely want to be able to get a suit of power armor, uh, get it souped up with the best pieces and stuff if I can I'm find them. I think we're finally safe from those damn raiders. Alright. Hey there. Can I get Let's you go and get you to trade. I'll take a look, sure. Here's what I got. Here we go. So what do we actually have here? Ooh, mute fruit. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, Tato's too. I think we... No, we don't have Tato's. We don't. I'm going to pick up this dirty water. The reason why is because I can actually uh, get it produced. Um, I can make... Uh, what's it called? Um, I think it's noodles or whatever. I can make different items with the dirty water and get XP is what I'm trying to say. So, what are we going to sell? We have a ton of carrots, don't need those, we're going to sell those. Purified water, plenty of that too. Uh, not even close to 300 caps though, what do we want? It's probably like, uh, I don't know, whether or 7. Let's see what this. Yeah, it's pretty acceptable. Good deal, good deal. We have moot fruit now. Moot fruit? Moot fruit? Alright. I'll try to say it one day. Uh, over here. Some people say mutt fruit. I, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Uh, that sounds pretty bad. Um, meat fruit is definitely the way I like to say it. And if you don't like that, then 
Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and place this down. We'll get some Mewtree going. And uh, let's go ahead and scrap some of this. We don't need all these melons anymore. Uh, it'll be nice to be able to sell the melons, of course, but I mean, I've been actually uh, changing our production of carrots well. uh, quite recently. So I'll show you over here what we can do. We can go and start crafting some. Where are they at? Oh, we can actually craft a lot more over here. Where are the noodles, though? Uh, noodles, noodles, noodles. There we go. Noodle cup. Right here. And what is this? Ooh. That's actually... Well, it's not much better. Oh, it's going to consume our potato, though. I don't want to do that. So we'll go ahead and do this. And I'm actually going to... Oh, my God. I'm going to back out and go harvest the other raised grain over there to be able to make more. Oh, we did have a potato. Okay. So we already had potatoes down. Must have been from another settler that came in um, after we murdered a few of other settlers we had. I someone to this. And not all of our um, production over here is actually assigned right now. Because you see all these carrots that are assigned over here. My back hurts. My feet hurt. I need to assign Everybody someone hurts. to this. Okay, so let me actually uh, cure this up a little bit. Let's go ahead and get this nice and looking pretty. Oh! Look at that! We got a 10th settler, if you looked up there. I actually did scrap the um, previous settlement beacon, recruitment beacon, that we had before. And I was able to get the crystal to build some more. That's also why I couldn't you know, do anything about that. So, we have a 10th settler right now. Jesus Christ. There we go. Gotta go ahead and potato on these controls. That's one thing I didn't do, actually, when I was playing Fallout Moan. Um, I was not doing anything with the settlement system. When I first played on the Xbox One, I went crazy on the settlement system. I have a lot of really big settlements set up right now on my Xbox playthrough, but I didn't really do it on um, my own playthrough recently. Alright, so we actually oh, have boy, you... Who's a new started. person? It looks like this. Got a dangerous look about you. Oh, shut Hope up. Hope you ain't here for me. I want to trade a few things. Of course. I, I think you're... Yeah, they're your new settlers, definitely, because we have bottle caps on them. I would have taken that earlier. So you're actually pretty decked out as far as armor goes. Yeah, it'd be good for a guard. Uh, take that hat away. Uh, do we have any clothes to get to you? Whatever. A baseball uniform would be pretty cool. And you can wear the armor, too. What actually... I don't know what kind of benefits I'll give you. Whatever. So we'll go and take this. Now, what kind of weapon do you want? Let's look over here. What weapons do we have? Uh, a pipe revolver, um, and this Mauser. Let's actually give her a Mauser. I actually want to do that. So let's go ahead and do this, because we don't necessarily need it. We're not going to be fighting off anybody anytime soon. 308 rounds. Let's go ahead and find some 308s. And let's go ahead and give her, like, I don't know, 5. That's typically the number I give. I actually give her 6. But we'll deal with it. And where do we want to? I... Hmm. I guess you're fine being a farmer. That's fine. Let me go ahead and do this, though. Let's go ahead and do ourselves a favor. Get rid of some of this that's nearby. Some of these melons. And we are cutting out pretty heavily on our melon production, but that's okay. Got it. And let's set her specifically on this meat fruit print. So now we have some razor grain over here going. Life is good. Now we're going to have some of the potatoes over here, and then we're gonna have some meat fruit as well over here. I think we're gonna expand the farm actually while I'm doing this. Da -da -da -da. One thing I am a little concerned about about this new mic, um, I hope it won't be that big of an issue, but it did seem pretty sensitive to like the clothing and stuff that I was wearing, and it was kind of weird. Um, the previous mic that I was using, it was actually a headset mic, the Sennheiser PC uh, 320, I think it is. It was a really good mic. I definitely want to call in and see if I can get a replacement for that. Uh, it's been a very good mic for me, and uh, I hope this one will hold up to that one as well. Um, I guess if you guys are seeing this, you know, after a few weeks or whatever after I upload this episode, I mean, the solution will be fixed by then. So, um, it's not a whole lot we can do about that, but right now I'm going to see what I can do, and hoping this mic will be good for us to be able to uh, get some good audio going without a whole lot of interference from 
uh, my end. So let's, what am I doing right here? Well, I am going to fences, I'm going to wire fence, and I'm going to these wooden posts. Right here. Oh god. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Alright guys, so I did a little bit of tidy up over here. I actually got rid of most of the carrots over here and I'm replacing it with this corn and potato plants. Over here we'll be putting some mute fruit. And the reason why is because we can produce cutting fluid. Uh, gosh, no, not cutting fluid. What's it called? Let me go over here, utility. Vegetable starch. Oh my gosh, vegetable starch is what it's called. So we need purified water, mute fruit, corn, and potatoes to produce this. And as you can see over here, five adhesive. So we'll be producing lots and lots of adhesive which is of course good for us. We're going to be able to use that in our crafting and we won't have to buy it, which is pretty important. And the surplus we can always use for food and to be able to sell. You know, the uh, corn and meat food especially actually sell for quite Out a bit. Here, you gotta also the uh, purified water sells for quite a bit too. So I figured yeah. to give a little tour to show you guys how we're going. This is our um, would-be drug station. I'll actually upgrade that a little bit later. We have our general store out here. And we have our bar inside. Now, what I will be doing is actually upgrading these so they get better and better gear. Like, for example, the general store is actually level one. It's not very big. Um, but let's, let's see how many caps we have over here. Let me. It's weird, it's not actually doing that. Uh, inventory 256 caps is how much we have. So, definitely, we want to upgrade that. We have our melon room still um, growing ever larger. And then we still have our shelf and whatever over here. And we're doing well. This is actually the interior of our uh, jet ring. We have a hundred jet right here. A nice painting and whatnot. So it's it's coming together pretty nicely now. We do have the capacity to build up our house now. So I'll actually go ahead and do that now. I'm going to cut into that.